Hi everyone, my name is Pat. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys my November Fairly unboxing. I know this month's book because I've been looking forward to it. I actually received an email last night that- oh no, the other night- that I am missing one of the items, which is the Poppy War inspired item, which will be in my December box. So the theme is Vengeance is Yours. Great. For the first time ever, we are including a book review notebook. This is perfect for keeping track of the books you've read and for noting down your thoughts on them. It features a beautiful design by Chatty Nora and is inspired by the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Ooh! <gasps> I think this is the item that so I was like, is that the book? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. From Blood and Ash, we will write. Wow, the design is so beautiful. And it has sprayed edges too. What? Oh, this looks so nice. And the pages are also designed beautifully. So, wow, so it's just a, a page of review. Very short review for each item. It comes with, I don't know what it's called, but to close it on Carter and a bookmark a ribbon bookmark wow that is so nice and the front is a leather cover wow that is so nice oh. okay next item to decorate your new notebook or any of your journals we've included a foiled washi tape inspired by the rage of dragons by evan winter designed by atlanta.design oh so it's just one just one i thought it was gonna be like a set of three or something just one if i could open it oh my god why is it so hard to open hello <gasps> Ooh, now I don't really use washi tapes on my journals or notebooks because washi tapes are so pretty and I don't want to use them. <laughs> and they're pretty expensive too, so this is so pretty. Let them think me a monster. Ooh. Clean and style with this microfiber cloth inspired by Vicious Baby Schwab, which was designed by at Stella Bookish Art. Is this microfiber? I guess. The world resists when you break the Schwab. This is microfiber? That's great though. I need a lot of microfibers for my like my eyeglasses and my screens. Because I have a lot of screens. <laughs> okay. Next one. Need a drink on the go? Use this bamboo travel mug inspired by our book of the month. At Blanca Design has done an amazing job designing the mug and we hope you love it. So this is the mug and it obviously shows you what this is inspired from, which is the book. So spoiler. Ooh, I love travel mugs. So it's a mint green cap and a mint green holder. The heart is not a weakness. Ooh. So I actually have received travel mug before. I don't I don't have it downstairs. I don't use it. I use it here in my room to like for like my makeup. At Salty's design is stunning enamel pin portraying Rin from the Poppy Water by RF Kwong. We hope the pin will be a beautiful addition to your collection. So this one is the one that is not included in here. This month's collectible tarot cards are the seven and eight of pentacles. They are designed by at L Jeons. E Jeons? I don't know if there's an L and an I or an I. And feature Malik and Karina from A Song of Race and Ruin by Rosanne A. Brown. We have our seven and eight of pentacles. Again, I do have a song of race and ruin and a song of storms and silence. I haven't read it, but on my TBR. <laughs> our featured book of the month is Jade Fire Gold by Jun C. L. Tan. It's a story inspired by Chinese mythology where two people discover their intertwined destinies. It is filled with revenge, rich magic, and it's an epic slow burn romance. Your favorite exclusive edition has an exclusive cover, stencil, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by A. J. Hawk AAA, foil embossing on a hardcover by Say also by the same artist and is signed by the author. Don't forget to read the author letter and check the character print by Kate Acedia on the other side. <gasps> oh my gosh, the art looks amazing. So this is the author letter. Oh my gosh, that art is so pretty. <gasps> oh, so if this is the UK edition, like art design because the US edition cup features like our two main characters I guess in front and this is the UK design and it's originally an orange theme, orange yellow theme. This time it's pink and blue. Her destiny, his revenge. Oh my god, look at that stencil. It's kind of wavy though, not straight line. Oh my gosh has pink on the other edges as well. So this is kind of similar to how the original cover looks like, although they're more side by side than on top of each other. Gen C L tan. I love the green. I love the green color. And then we have our art on the inside. I guess this is our main characters. Oh my gosh, they look so amazing. I love this. Wow. It looks so good. This art is amazing. So I've heard a lot of amazing things about this book. I actually pre-ordered this originally through Illumicrate. Um, I actually had to cancel it because I didn't want to have um, two editions of the book. And yeah, so this is 
So when there has been like this course on Instagram about the representation in here and you know um, a lot of like other Chinese creators and reviewers online said that it features some like stereotypical representations of the culture and there's been like this course on that all other things I'm just listening I'm just looking at you know what people are saying other Chinese creators Chinese authors listening as well and learning so Jade Fire and Gold I'm still really like interested in reading this one but yeah so it's Jade Fire Gold let's see so we have our fairy scoop, we have our interview, the June CL10, scheduled for the read-along, June loves cats and coffee and BTS. So she's an army, is she? June's inspiration for so storytelling often stems from anime and K-dramas. <laughs> What? Okay, so next month's theme, last for this year, is Dance with Death. We think we can all agree that most main characters in YA fantasy dance with death at some point in their journey, but some even cross into the afterlife and return. This box is dedicated to the most daring characters that risk it all regardless of what is at stake. You can expect items inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart, We Hunt the Flame, <gasps> These Violent Delights, ah, a new collectible item inspired by Hegis and Persephone, and a second book. The second book in this box is a newly released paperback about vampires and it will come with an exclusive cover and a digital signature. Our featured book of the month is a thrilling and unforgettable mystery fantasy with ghosts, romance, and so many fantastic characters to root for. This very loot exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, spray edges, artwork on the reverse of this jacket by Emily's Nath underscore art, full embossing on the hardcover by the same artist, and will come with a signed book plate. We have our schedule for the November box photo challenge. I don't, I don't have no idea what the main book is, but the second book I know. Um, I think I know what it is. I actually think I have an art for it, so I will be reading it for this month, which is November. And then, yeah, I don't know what the other one is. It's very vague because it just says ghost romance and fantastic characters. And I guess something about coming back or crossing into afterlife. Hmm, no idea. So, that is it for this month's box. My favorite item. I think my favorite item will have to be the notebook, the, the, the review notebook, because it just it looks so good. It looks so good. Like, the overall look of it and the feel, I really love. And obviously, I need to put a microfiber cloth to wipe everything I have, every screen, and my glasses. So, yeah, that's it for this month's box. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next one.